welcome to a new vlog. I'm Shar and I post lifestyle content three times a week. So if you're interested in lifestyle content, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Also turn on the post notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Thank you for joining me. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe so that you don't miss a video. But if you are returning, shout out to you. We always going to be gang gang anyway. <laughs> I just never, you know, do that at the start of my video. So I was like, let me show my appreciation for the girls and the guys that are watching my videos. Anyway, I just came from the gym. I was a 5 a.m. girly this morning. I'm super excited. Hopefully I can continue this momentum into like the rest of the week. But today is Monday, the start of a new week. Um, and I'm just like, I don't know if y'all have noticed, but I have not been feeling 100% like i have been feeling um up to this point like i had my surgery in december and i've been like gung ho you know really trying to be consistent doing my workouts making sure i'm eating right and for like this summer has just kind of been this summer has been a challenge because i've been outside and i just been doing all of the things and i have not been prioritizing my vitamins or well, recently i i kind of you know slack been slacking on my vitamins but um food prioritizing protein counting my uh carbs and calories and fat and all that i have not been doing that and i have not been eating a whole lot but when i have been eating i've been eating horribly so this week and the rest of the year i'm hoping to get myself back on target back on schedule i need to get me a new water bottle but i have bought <laughs> this Evian bottle and I've just been filling it up with water since Sunday um and I went and got some groceries and I'm just like trying to be intentional about what I'm putting into my body again so I feel like I look okay but sometimes I feel like I'm starting to I don't know I just I have the scale is the scale um I I'm gonna do an update but I have gains probably like three pounds and it's kind of messing with my head a little bit three pounds is nothing when you think about the almost 70 pounds that I lost so I need to just kind of get over it but that's why I'm here talking to y'all because you know you you have to get it out but I do need to make an appointment with my therapist because I haven't had an appointment in a while anyway uh, today is Monday it is 8 o'clock, so I still have two hours before I have to log in to work. I just want to show you guys what I bought for, like, the week. I'm kind of thinking I want to make a couple of different meals this week. And I bought meat because it's, like, going to be the staple um, for the things that I want to make. Um, and I'll, I'll just, like, play it by ear for the rest of the week. And I think I'm going to do a what I eat in a day video maybe even a what i eat in a week video i don't know i don't know um i'm most definitely going to be updating my what i eat in a day so i'm probably not going to do it today because i need to like prepare my food um anyway y'all i'm rambling let me just show you what i got from target groceries are here i'm just gonna run through it real quick so i got produce in the produce section i got some avocados because i want to make avocado toast and I want to make salad, have avocados for tacos and stuff like that. Um, uh, anyway, um, speaking of MJ, <laughs> y'all know he likes his carrots in his food. So I got him some carrots. And now I want to make a broccoli slaw. So I got this broccoli slaw mix. But I also got broccoli and cauliflower. So I'm going to probably take a couple of the maybe like half of the broccoli out of here and make put in my broccoli slaw because I like it to be chunky. I got two Roma tomatoes for my avocado toast. And then I got this bread out of the like bakery section. It is called cottage sliced bread, which I don't really know. Um, bread and granola. And, you know, I'm, I'm trying to like focus on necessary carbs like this is i would consider a necessary carb because bread is okay like carbs are okay i should not be eating m and m's that's <laughs> that's the thing so m and m's bread m and m's bread we're gonna do bread that's like 
sad face. Like, I would rather be eating M&M's, but hey, you got to do what you got to do. Um, and then I got some more carbs. <laughs> Granola. Uh, this is probably the equivalent of M&M's. It's not. This has a lot of protein in it. This has 11, 10 grams of protein for uh, a bowl of it, which is like two-thirds of a cup. But I'm going to use... Um, one third of a cup in like an acai bowl or yogurt or something like that. So that's my favorite. This is my favorite one, the peanut butter cluster by kind. And then I got some protein chips. I, I, I have been craving this flavor. This is a barbecue flavor. These are really good. Um, they are not like the the other Quest chips are like tortilla style and these are just supposed to be like potato chips and they're really good i like them um i also bought this sweet and sour sauce because every time i make something asian inspired i'm like i wish i had the little sauce in the packet and i believe that's this or it could be that duck sauce i don't know but i got this for like my uh little asian inspired cuisine that i was making and for me i got some jumbo peeled Wild caught jumbo raw shrimp. They are tail off, peeled, and deveined. I think these are like $10.99. At Target, I got some 80% lean ground beef and uh, my favorite chicken that I always get at Target. Um, this is garlic, lemon garlic chicken breast. And then for meat, the last thing that I got was sausage, y'all. I was craving sausage this morning. I think I'm going to make like a, a little scramble bowl with some sausage, eggs, cheese, and avocado. And then I got some string cheese. This is not the kind that I usually buy. I usually buy the Fago, I think is what it's called. But Target hasn't had it. So I don't know. I just got the small one because I, I wasn't sure if I would enjoy this one. So... Um, and then I got some bananas because you always have to have bananas. I had to throw the bananas that I put in the freezer in the trash because they started looking nasty. Um, but I had to get organic because all of the bananas were like picked over and gone. Um, so I think that's all I got for food. Oh, I got some eggs. I always got to have eggs in your house. And I don't know if... If I'm just tone deaf or whatever, but my eggs have not changed in price really. I always get Eggland's best, the um, brown eggs, and they have always been like four dollars or less. I have never paid six dollars for eggs, so I don't know what kind of eggs y'all been getting. Maybe it's like a big carton of eggs, I don't know. But this is only 12 eggs, and it was like three dollars and some change. So, anyway, of course, when you go to Target, you gotta buy some outfits or some some clothing items so i was in the little girl section i called the the junior section the little girl section and i saw this really cute like cropped oversized kind of sweater thingy i'm like trying to find the word to describe it because it's not really a sweater because it's like got all the little thin holes or whatever in it but I thought this is really cute, like for the fall when as we're transitioning from uh summer to fall, like with some jeans and a cute little like something underneath. So I got this. Of course, I will be linking it down below, but it was $22. It is by Wild Fable. And then I found the cutest. I think I showed y'all a clip while I was in Target, but I got the cutest little Y'all know I'm a sucker for a neutral. The cutest little brown workout set. This is the sports bra. So this is what it looks like in the front. This is what it looks like in the back. And the sports bra was $20. Yeah, the sports bra is $20. This is all in motion. It is this deep, deep chocolate color. And y'all know I love me some neutrals. Uh, it has like a little padding in it, but I always take the pads out because... I don't know. I don't. I feel like the pads are there to like conceal your nipple, but it's just in the way for me. Um, and then it can't. It didn't come with. But I bought these pants that they had style with the mannequin that I think I showed y'all. And these are called All Over Cozy Ultra High Rise Leggings. In the top I got a large, and the bottoms I got a large too. We'll see if this works. Uh, I've been hovering between the extra large 
and a large, sometimes a medium, depending on, you know, where I'm getting stuff. This has a pocket in the back. I'm not really a fan of pockets on leggings. Uh, yeah, I'm not a fan of pockets on leggings, so the pocket in the back is fine for me. Um, the only thing is, like, that waist is, like, the same as the hips. So, yeah. Anyway. Oh, I also bought two glasses because I've been struggling trying to fit all of my my smoothie in the glasses that I already have. I feel like my glasses are 14 ounces. These are 16 and they were like $3 at Target. So one is going to be for my coffee, one is going to be for my smoothie. That's it though. So I'm getting ready to go hop in the shower. I still need to finish putting the things in the description box for the video. Sorry y'all, the video was not posted on Saturday like I had hoped, uh, but I finished editing last night and now I just need to like get my thumbnail and stuff together. So I'm probably gonna have to sit down and do that and then get in the shower. Uh, that way I can go ahead and have protein because I haven't had any yet this morning. So yeah, I'll take you guys for the rest of the day if I do anything interesting. Um, morning sessions um there was some commentary there i'm i'm back to using sugar-free salted caramel and i don't know how i feel about it but you know gotta do what you gotta do so for this basically i use one double shot uh espresso scuro is what it's called Oh my God, focus, focus on me. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so I use one of these and then I use the one, two, three method that I found on TikTok for the, um, the cold foam. Basically, whatever, whatever syrup you use, I use my sugar-free salted caramel syrup, one tablespoon, two tablespoons of milk or whatever situation you use. I use this pumpkin protein because we're going for pumpkin cold foam cold brew situation whatever um and then of course i use three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream so i'm going to do the macros because i have not been <laughs> i have not been tracking this i'm going to do the macros to see what it's giving because i might have to reduce the a number of times that i have this um coffee but it's really good and i get my protein in because i go ahead and put my coffee in here and then i pour the protein on top of the coffee and then i put the 
heavy cream so I'm not using a whole bunch of sugary stuff which is a recent change because before I was using like a lot of sugary stuff but I need to I need to get my life together so yeah this is the coffee isn't she lovely she kind of you know not as dark as I like her to be but I didn't want to use four shots because I just don't feel like I need that much caffeine so anyway now I'm gonna go finish editing my video I still have not hopped in the shower I just went took off the gym clothes because it was kind of nasty y'all don't judge me um but I'm gonna finish getting my description box and stuff ready for the video then I'm gonna hop in the shower then I'm gonna come back and go to work so I'll see y'all probably at some point when I take a break so talk to you later it's later in the at in the evening I was gonna say in the afternoon it's later in the evening it is six o'clock and I am off work so I figured I will make myself some food. I am going to be making an acai bowl. I am using the organic Sambazon acai packets. These are sugar free or unsweetened. They're not sugar free. Uh, so I'm going to be using that. I'm going to be putting some other frozen fish, I mean, frozen fruit in it. And then I'll assemble it and show y'all what it looks like. So if you're interested in seeing what I put on my acai bowl, y'all with all of the things I put in here so I use the packet I put frozen blueberries frozen strawberries and orange juice now I'm gonna blend it up and I'll come back and show y'all how I I, 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 I I'll blend it up and come back and show you how I assemble my bowl products as you can see I put some peanut butter over here it definitely was not aesthetically pleasing but I don't know how many calories I don't know what the macros are on this but I'm basically done eating for the day so yeah I'm gonna enjoy this and I will probably <laughs> I will probably see y'all tomorrow I'm trying to get the camera I'll probably see y'all tomorrow bye Countertops are so freaking sensitive. I just, <laughs> I just spilled a little bit of coffee. Like my coffee was just here for a second. Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> I got it up. I'm like, what the heck is going on? Like interrupting my regularly scheduled program. But y'all, when you waste something on your countertops, put it up immediately because that stuff can stain. And you're not you won't be able to get it up so anyway back to programming <laughs> so this has been like my go-to coffee especially now since I'm trying to get my life back together in terms of like my eating habits so I'm using this is the, the second part or not the second part this is you know the next meal in my what I eat in a day so basically I'm using this protein shake in my coffee so i did a double well i did two double espressos i left a little bit of the coffee in there because once i put the rest of my once i drink this down put the rest of my protein i'm gonna probably put the rest of this coffee in there but this is basically very 
carb conscious. So I used the one, two, three method. I've talked about this before and I found it on TikTok. I didn't create it, but one tablespoon of sugar-free syrup, two tablespoons of protein, and three tablespoons of heavy cream to create this beautiful, this is like the best one so far. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is like my second meal of the day. First one was those protein chips. Second one is this coffee. Um, and then I'm going to finish the um, the rest of the coffee. This protein is 30 grams of protein. I mean, this protein shake is the pumpkin spice, obviously. If you have not gotten it, you need to go ahead and get it before they start raising the price. But 30 grams of protein, 160 calories, one gram of sugar. And I think that's all the macros you need to know. But yeah, so... In here, I probably put like half of it, maybe. Um, I'll do macros for this later and put it on the screen. But yeah, so this is my favorite coffee. If you want to try it, just go, go ahead and try it. I, I think I tried to like describe or show what I was putting in without like writing it on the screen. But if you need me to write it on the screen, let me know. But now it's time for me to go to work. I have actually have 30 minutes before I have to log in, so I'm going to go finish editing my video. I'm going to try to post it. I'm probably not going to post it today. I'm probably going to post it tomorrow. I might post it today as like an extra video, uh, but I need to edit a reel because I feel like I'm missing a lot of content in this video. So I'm going to go finish like the editing, and then I log in at 10 o'clock, and then I will see you guys later. Oh, also, I'm deciding whether I'm going to keep that Akira dress yet, because I really didn't put any shapewear on with it, so I'm going to try putting on shapewear with the dress to see what it's giving after that, and if it gives a little bit something else, I might just keep it, so stay tuned for that. <laughs> Chili Lime Flavor Quest Protein Chips. This has 140, ca 140 calories, um, 4 grams of carbs, and 20 grams of protein. So I am definitely going to get my protein in having these nice, brilliantly made. <laughs> I'm just joking, y'all. I'm definitely going to have my, get my protein in by snacking on chips like this versus snacking on um, Cheetos and stuff like that. Not that I'm like a Cheetos girl, uh, but I'm just here in my office working. I'm still working on the same bottle of water because I don't know my water. I like my water to stay cold. I just ordered a Stanley cup, y'all. I'm, I'm turning into, I mean, 
I just was influenced to get a Stanley cup because the cup that I had before, while I liked it, the little flip thing broke um, and I just felt like the quality of it was not that great. So I'm going to try the Stanley. Um, I like my water to stay cold. So I'm just going to go ahead and get on the wagon and, <laughs> and I ordered a Stanley cup. So it should be here today. I also ordered some vitamins because I need to uh, get back on track with my vitamins. I have all of the vitamins. I did. Oh, I forgot I have a prescription to pick up. I did uh, fill my prescription for my um, acid reflux medicine. And then I still have like my bari bariatric vitamins and my calcium. I just need to be one. And I still have some of the uh, acid reflux. I just need to put it, the stuff in my vitamin container but i'm about to watch youtube i have been loving amani rakia and alexis uh i think her channel is called a wilkie i've been enjoying their videos so i'm gonna go watch youtube while i do some work i have a very very busy day uh not as busy as it usually is i still i don't have a lot of meetings today as well so i'm pretty uh I'm pre oh yes i do i got five meetings today. <laughs> um, anyway, I just thought I would check in with y'all and say hi. And since we're doing a what I eat in a day in the vlog, this is my snack number two. So I'll see y'all later. prep and I prepped uh, some chicken broccoli rice and two salads so basically uh, I measured it out because I have not been doing that <laughs> I measured one ounce of everything so one ounce of rice one ounce of chicken and one ounce of veggies in these and that'll make it easy for me to like really track it um, and then in here I tried to do the same thing but it just didn't really work out. So I'm going to hope and pray that this is, <laughs> I don't know. It can't be that much, right? So this will be like a snack, whatever. Both of them, all of them are meals. So I basically have six meals here. And then with the leftover, there's one chicken breast leftover and some broccoli and rice. And Michael is going to probably eat that as one meal. And then I'm going to have a salad right now for lunch. So the next meal of the day is a salad and this has like two ounces of chicken uh, a handful of romaine like an ounce of tomatoes a half an ounce of uh 
not an ounce. I would say a cup of tomatoes, a half a, a half a cup of onion. Yes, sis likes onion, and then like a quarter of an avocado. So not even a quarter of an avocado. Maybe like oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll put the macros on the screen by the time I post this video. But this is what I'm eating for my fourth meal of the day, I believe. So yeah, I'm going to go back to work because I have a hell of a lot of work to do. And I have spent my whole lunch break doing this. So yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. So we are done working for today. Kind of, sort of. I am not logging on again. But I just came in here because I ordered some vitamins and I ordered the wrong ones and they won't let me return them. Anyway, I ordered my B1, but I got B50. What, what did we use B50 for? Anyway, um, I have not taken any vitamins today, so that's why I'm in the kitchen. So I'm going to get ready to take my vitamins. I'm going to go the drill. I usually, take, I usually take B1, but I also take... My bariatric vitamins, this is a one a day. Never fails. I uh, also take calcium, three of these every day. And then my my acid reflux medication. And I have recently started back taking elderberry. Uh, because, you know, it's that time of year. So I need to take two of these. These are my favorite vitamins to taste, take because they taste like candy. Mike, you want to uh, elderberry vitamins? <laughs> I bet you do. Anyway, I am now just waiting for the other part of my order, which was my Stanley cup. Yes, I succumbed <laughs> to the, the Stanley cup craze. And I bought me one since my other cup broke. Um, but I'm going to get them ready. Not really hungry, but I don't want to eat after 8 o'clock. So I'm getting ready to warm up one of my little meals that I made. I'm going to do this one since it does not have a lid. So I think I'm going to put some sweet and sour sauce on it just to give it a little razzle dazzle. But yeah, so this is probably going to be the last meal of the day. I will probably eat some protein or a snack or a smoothie or something before like I probably will eat something else and of course if I do I will let y'all know but at the end of at the last clip of this day we'll talk about what I ate today <laughs> what I ate today so we'll talk about what I ate today uh but I really enjoyed including the what I eat in a day in this video because it's been like a little more helpful uh, because I'm not like trying to like create an aesthetic of what I ate today. So I'm waiting for my friend to come by because she is starting to be, she's starting to do content and she just kind of wants some tips from little, little old me. So I'm going to help her out with some tips on what she can do to like, I guess, edit is probably the main thing. Y'all know I'm not an expert, but I know a little something. Um, and then I need to go finish folding the clothes up in my room. Uh, laundry has been a hot mess for the last couple of days, uh, or since I got back. Uh, but I have been, you know, I've been washing my clothes, so that's a win. Um, did I show y'all the flowers? I did show y'all the flowers. So the flowers, I moved them over here. They're now on the countertop where they usually go because I feel like sometimes when I have the ceiling fan on over there, it makes them like wilt faster and I want to try to preserve them as long as I can. I think I'm going to replace the water on Sunday if they last that long. So yeah, I'm just here to check in. I hope you guys have had a great day. I will talk to you later. In the closet, I had to switch out my Wi-Fi thing because uh, I had to switch out my Wi-Fi thing. <laughs> Really no excuse, <laughs> but sorry for the lighting. But um, I, since I was in here and I was waiting for my Wi-Fi to, to come back up, I started the process of pulling down some of the shoes that I want to get rid of. We are now in the closet, obviously. So as you can see, I've taken shoes off of the shelves. And let me show you all the ones that I'm, I'm going to get rid of. So... For sure, these shoes are going. Um, I think 
I was thinking that I could probably sell these, but they've been on GOAT for a long time, and I don't think that I'm going to be able to sell them. Air Force Ones, these three pairs that I've never worn. Um, they just, I don't like how they fit. Um, and then Convert, I'm not really a Converse girly anymore. These are kind of dirty, so I don't know if anybody's going to even want to take them as like a give. Uh, this pile of shoes is basically probably going to be just given away. These I've only worn one time. As you can see, I'm just scared of wearing all white shoes, especially canvas. So uh, I'm probably just going to give them to someone who needs shoes, someone who can fit the same size shoe as me. So now I have space. This whole shelf is empty. Basically, that shelf is empty. I need to decide what I'm going to do with these because these are some OGs right here and they're so comfortable. I might just need to buy a new pair. Um, I think I want to try to organize all my dunks over here with the rest of the dunks. I don't, I think those are the last two pair of dunks. No, I have a box with a brand new pair of dunks. So I just need to organize this so that I can, you know, decide for real what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to get rid of after I get rid of the for sure get rid of shoes. So, so yeah. So I'm probably going to do that for the rest of the evening and I'll just give y'all an update and let y'all know if I'm going to post anything on uh, my Poshmark. Probably not. Ooh, it's dark. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Let me hear it when we get to you. Probably won't be posting anything on my Poshmark. Well, I look crazy. I um, probably won't be posting anything on my Poshmark, but I will let y'all know the shoes that I'm giving away that I'm hoping to just get rid of. And then y'all can let me know if I should post them on Poshmark or not. Uh, I feel like the ones that I want to get rid of, they are not worthy to be posted on Poshmark. So I'm just going to give them away. Uh... I have never really sat in this chair in my office. Y'all know that chair that I did not send back to Wayfair? It's been in my office. It's like my inspo to like really start to work, in, work on my office again. Um, anyway, I'm rambling. I don't know if I'll see y'all again. But if I don't, I will talk to y'all tomorrow. just uh, made myself a little midnight snack. It's not midnight yet. It's 11 o'clock. Um, but um, you know, when you're going through this journey, you might get hungry late and you just need to eat. So uh, this, I would say, is a slider food. So it's not good. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be stuffed from this. But basically, I just made myself a uh, yogurt and granola parfait and i used uh one third measurement i tried to do one third measurement but i only had a half cup so i tried to, <laughs> i tried to measure it but today i did really good in terms of like my food and what i uh i ate and i went ahead and recorded everything that i ate today so i'll put it up on a screen here somewhere in this area uh a screen record of my macros at the end of the day um i ended up with after i logged this i ended up having 1062 calories my goal is 1200 or 12 to 1300 um 104 grams of protein the goal for protein is 100 grams carbs uh 69 the goal for carbs is i think somewhere near an 80 and um yeah, so I did pretty good. I still have like some room left for calories and some room left for carbs, but I'm not tripping because yesterday was a little bit of a struggle. Um, and then I didn't show you guys, but I had a glass of um, kombucha. You remember the other day I went to Target and I bought this 
Hell's A Kombucha. This is the uh, pomegranate flavor and it tastes really good. It does have like that vinegary taste to it, but I drank half of it and a whole bottle is 17 grams of carbs. Uh, there's 80 calories in this, so I drank half a bottle and I think that's probably what my cadence is going to be. And I just put it in a, a cute little you know wine glass because I wanted to have like wine on my patio <laughs> but I didn't want to drink wine because you know I'm trying to I'm trying to take a break from the extra stuff so yeah so today's what I eat in a day in the vlog was pretty successful I think I have like a rhythm of what I should be eating and I also prepped some food so the rest of the week we already know what we're gonna be eating so I'm gonna enjoy this and then I'm going to hop in the shower. I still have clothes folded on my bed. And then I'm just going to go to bed. And I'll see you guys in the morning. I'm going to try to record my morning routine. Because for the last the last two days, <laughs> I have been a 5 a.m. gym girly. So I'm going to try to record tomorrow. My alarm goes off twice, 4.15, then 4.30. Uh, yesterday I had a little bit of a struggle. Now, nah, today I had a little bit of a struggle getting up. So, maybe if I record, you know, the process in the morning, it will be easier for me to get up. Anyway, I will see you guys in the morning. I think what I'm going to do is lay my gym clothes out because that's what it'd be. I'd be like trying to find the fit. <laughs> I'd be like on a regular day if I'm going out for a social event. I'd be looking for like some clothes to wear to the gym. My outfit got to be cute because we getting we getting content and you know we got to take an outfit picture and I think you just feel like more motivated the better you look. Anyway, I just wanted to pop in really quick, close out the vlog for today by showing you guys what I ate, uh, what I'm having for the rest of the day. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey y'all, uh, <laughs> it's me. Last night bragging about being a 5 a.m. gym girly. Only to wake up at 6.30 this morning. I'm late, so. I'm just trying to get my life together. I'm just trying to get my life together so I can't go to the gym. I've been feeling like real bloated and I know it's because I've been drinking hella French 75s, but I've already lost the pounds. I told y'all yesterday that I had gained like five pounds in the last month. Uh, I already lost a pound just by the way that I changed my eating. So I'm excited. It makes me, <laughs> it makes me not trip. Like I'm still tripping. Because I'm like, why am I, why would I take myself through all of the drama of having the surgery just to do wrong? But, you know, we all go through stuff. Anyway, I'm in the bathroom because I'm getting ready to go to the gym late. I'm probably just going to do the treadmill today because I really don't feel like going to the gym. But I'm able-bodied, so I'm going to the gym. So, I just wanted to also tell you, show y'all what I ended up giving away yesterday. So, my friend that came over here. And I was talking to her about her content creating stuff or whatever. She literally took all those shoes. So, <laughs> so I gave those shoes to her. The shoes are right here. All of them. I gave those shoes to her because she has a daughter that can fit some of them. But she also has like a goddaughter who wears the same size shoes as me that I had. Like I think it was her. Well, her whole sibling group it's like four girls i had um i i have dude voice y'all have y'all seen that tiktok <laughs> i'm gonna put that tiktok in here with the dude voice but uh <clears throat> let me try and clear my throat anyway it's five set whatever time it is uh but i had sponsored the her um, God's daughter and her sisters last Christmas I want to say and so I realized that one of them wears the same size shoes as me so I was like hey do you think they wouldn't want these shoes and she was like yeah so it was probably like I don't know 12 pairs of shoes probably like 10 or 12 pairs of shoes that I gave away mostly Air Force Ones and then all of the gym shoes that I used to wear back in the day that I have not been reaching for there's probably still some stuff over here that I could 
you know, really think about getting rid of. Well, not really over here. Well, yeah, it's a couple of pairs of shoes over here that I could probably get rid of. Like, I never reach for these. But then I find myself wearing these in fall, so I might start wearing them. But if I don't wear them this fall, if I don't wear them this fall, I'm probably going to get rid of them. Um, and then, like, I just can't get rid of these. This is, like, the sneaker that started my collection. Uh, the um, Cool Grays. I got these in... 2010 or 2011 but then i have like a fresh pair <laughs> that has never been worn um why am i keeping the old pair um and i have never worn a fresh pair what else do i have oh these i think we talked about these before these are just not my vibe i should have i forgot to get these away yesterday but these are not my vibe and they kind of too big. They're seven and a half in women's. It's just not my vibe. Um, maybe I can go on Pinterest or something or TikTok and find like how other people style them. But I don't know why about these. So those are definitely a couple pairs that that I'm probably still going to figure out if I'm going to keep. But I have a lot of space on my shelves in here now that I can like, you know put my shoes somewhere like my collection of new balance is growing um so i kind of want to put those together i want to put those near like my adidas my yeezys or whatever um so i might just move all of like the the all of like the gym shoes here over here somewhere make sure i can't extend like my dunks like, make sure all my ducks can be together. Oh, I can get these away, too. Who wants these? Uh, I can sell these. I've never been worn. I can sell these for, like, $75, $80 if you want them. Um, but, but yeah. So, I'm still working in here. And I'm going to also be organizing my closet again and making things look a little tidier. I have a lot of dresses over there. I need to get rid of some of them. Um, I'm never getting rid of my hoodies because I'm a hoodies girl. And, you know, my clothes is just like dwindling because weight loss. <laughs> anyway, I just wasted a whole lot of time doing that when I need to be in here getting ready for the gym. So, I <clears throat> still have to do a voice. But <laughs> I'm going to go to the gym and do like the treadmill for maybe like 30, 45 minutes. And I will be back to go to work. I think I have a dentist appointment this morning, but they gave me a notification this morning. It's like, bro, you need to send a notification at least 24 hours before the dentist appointment because now I got plans. I know that's my thing. I should have put it on my calendar, but they scheduled dentist appointments like six months in advance. So I'm gonna have to reschedule that one. But I'm just here. I, I'm here because the goal was to do like morning routine, 6 a.m. gym, get ready, whatever. But clearly, I'm not gonna be able to do that because I don't have, I don't have time. So I will see y'all after the gym. I actually didn't go to the gym today because uh, I learned that one of my friends had coronavirus or are we saying that on youtube <laughs> so i decided to go and get tests so i can make sure that i am not exposed to it so i'm right now waiting for the test to finish uh, so far it looks like it might be negative so let's hope for the best anyway because i have beyonce tomorrow and i'm not i'm not missing that of course, if I have the panoramic, I wouldn't have to miss it. Anyway, while I was at Walgreens, I got, I found these that had the B1, the vitamins that I need to use, the vitamins that I tried to order the other day, but, but I ordered the wrong one. So I got my vitamins and they were buy one, get one free. So I got 200 tablets. So I have 200 tablets, which was even cheaper than the Amazon ones. And I can't even send those other Amazon vitamins that I bought by accident back. Vitamin B50 complex. So I'm going to have to figure out if, if that's a good vitamin for me to take. If it is, I'll take it. Um, but yeah, so I got vitamins at um, 
Walgreens. Um, and I also went to Target because I had some wine kill time before Walgreens opened. And I needed to take some stuff back. So I, taught, I had a pair of jeans that I had to take back. Um, they fit, but they just made me have a pancake booty. <laughs> And it was like a cute little satin shirt that I had that I knew that I wasn't going to wear. So I took that back and it was like $59. So here is my $59 Target haul. So I've been loving these protein chips again recently. So I got two bags. I got the, uh, I think this is oh, it's ranch, ranch flavor. And then I got the um, spicy, what is it? Spicy sweet chili. This is really good too. And I had to re-up on some things. I got some cheese. I got two of those. And I got a new heavy cream because mine started looking chunky. <laughs> um, I got some balsamic vinaigrette. And I got some um, cheesecake Greek yogurt. This is the one that we were having like constantly every day. And then I got some soup. These were, um, these are super childish, but this one is the chicken and star shaped pasta um, soup. And I got these because it's one serving and it's only seven grams of carbs. So I was trying to find a quick and easy soup option. I really love tomato soup, but you know, tomatoes are carbs on their own. So, um, and then I bought me some little slouchy socks. These are five dollars. Uh, this is by the brand Universal Thread. Uh, I have to let y'all know if I like them. But yeah, so I'm just going to. I have like 30 minutes before I have to log in for work. I'm going to take my vitamins really quick while I make myself a coffee and. I will see y'all some point later. I just got my cup. It literally was on the porch. And, you know, whatever. I don't know how I feel about the top. I really wish I could... Uh, what you laughing at? <laughs> I really wish I could, like... There was, like, a place where I can, you know, sip out of. Maybe there is and I just don't see it. But I got the 30 ounce because i didn't want to pay more than 30 dollars for this cup and i had a gift card that's why i bought it uh so yeah it's really nice though like i'm kind of like okay i see why the girls i see why the girls been liking their little stanley cups but let's see if i can show y'all uh the lighting is kind of weird uh but this is the cup i got the um the cream color and like it's mauve on there so We'll see how I like this. Okay. I got two minutes. There's definitely some cold foam left. But you have to make your, your um... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> My music makes me lose control. All right, y'all. So I just met my fave in the prettiest cup. Um, I didn't try to put all of the protein in there because I'm just going to drink the rest, but cheers. Have a good day. See y'all later on. Mm -hmm.